Hi guys, Demons are here, more than just a pen gang gang. Today's video, we are gonna be drawing Pennywise from Pennywise hit chapter 2. As you guys know, if, you, if you've been subscribed to this channel for over a year, you know that I do Pennywise last year when Pennywise it came out. Was it last year or the year before? Has it been two years, has it? I can't remember. 2017 is when it. Wow, time has flown. But anyways, I drew Pennywise way back then. And I like it. I gave that one away. But you still have a good to say, but I'm going to save that for the end of the video. So, today, we're doing Pennywise from chapter 2. Now, I went and saw this last week, and let's just say, if you're a thinker, this movie will definitely make you think. It will, it will discombobulate your mind, and you will not know. You don't want to close your eyes, and... I don't close my eyes for that movie and I'm a thinker. So, oh, mate. Oh, I didn't want to go watch it. And now you put your point thinking, why, then why'd you go watch it if you didn't want to go watch it? Oh, well, this way. I have a girlfriend that, yeah, it's just, just go crazy. But she, crazy. She should be watching horror movies for fuck. What was I supposed to do, man? <laughs> you know, she was like to me, Masa, Pennywise is out. We gotta go watch it. And I was like, no, I don't want to watch it. And she was like, but you made a promise. And I was like, no, I didn't. And she was like, but you didn't remember? No, I didn't. And then, she's like, you want to show your evidence? I was like, no. And then she went and rambled for like five minutes. Five minutes. And I was like, okay, we'll go watch it. And that was the moment I realized, dumb, that I shouldn't have gone. But I did anyway. So, today we are going to be using these bad boys that I got for my trip to Berlin like last week, week after? Yeah, went to Berlin like a week ago and about a week ago, yeah. went about a week ago and on the day we was coming back is when I actually found this stationery shop and I was like, let me go in there. Cause this is the problem, when I go on holiday, you know, doesn't matter where I go, I am a pen hunter. Like I go hunting for pens. I know I got a gazillion pens, but you can never get enough. And there's all these different brands out here, like this one. This is the first time that you, I've ever seen Pelican. I've heard about it, you know, doing my research online and everything. But I've actually never seen a pack of Pelican pens in my life. Um, so I had to buy one pack here. I went and bought two, actually. Um, the second package, we're going to do a little sum sum for at the end of the video. So make sure to stay tuned to the, to the end. Yeah, so bought one for myself and one for something else. And yeah, let's talk about the pens. The problems, big problem. Not small problem, but big problem. There is no black. Now you know, without the black, you are done out here. Like, we're done out here. There's, without the black, it's essential. I need it. And there was no black in the package. And from there, I started itching my head. I was like, yay! How am I going to draw Pennywise without black? And then, to take it from 100 to 150 to almost 200. There was no red. Ooh, rough, real rough. I just, I just didn't know what to do. I was like, okay. So you've taken this from being a challenge already, because I'm doing Pennywise, the person I don't like. Imagine me drawing something I don't like. And then you take my black away, my red away, and then turn it into a challenge where I have to try and think of all these colors I have to mix up in order to get all these different crazy looking ugly tones. That I don't really want to do. I just want to draw it and get it over and done with. <sighs> but yeah. That's what we're going to do today. So. Let's get into this. Sit back, relax. And enjoy this Pennywise. Shitty shit. Drawing shit. Here we have the pens. As you can see, I'm just literally just com just opening up. And I was like, what, what, where, where's my black? Like, uh, yo, yo. Like, come on, man. Like, how you not going to give me a black? This is literally what my mind was doing. I was like, oh, man, damn. So now, I thought, you know, let me test out the pens. Just because this is the problem. Whenever you buy a different brand of pens, majority of the time, they come out with different tones. So I thought, let me just test the colors that I'm, I know are going to be slightly different. So the yellow, I tested out, and I was like, okay, yellow's fine. Because sometimes the yellow can come out like orange color, which we don't want. But it was actually yellow, so which was perfect. And also, I made this mistake last time. I thought, yeah, I bought color ballpoint pens. Tried it out. It was blue. And I was like, I'm never making that mistake again. Every time I buy a pack of new pens, I'm trying it out first before I even attempt putting it on my paper and just drawing because I'm not making that mistake again. The brown 
came out way lighter than I actually expected. I did not expect the brown to be this light. So that already was a problem because I was expecting to use the brown as like my black, my dark tone. So I didn't get to do that because it came out bright. So I had to make purple as my black in order to make all these layers. There was a lot of mixing though. So yeah, I had to do that. Fun times, fun times. At the beginning stages, I was just thinking, yeah, okay. So dark areas, we are trying to, we're gonna, be, if we're trying to make black, we gonna mix up all these dark colors. I don't care how it looks, uh, we're mixing, we gotta get black. So I was mixing purple, the brown, what other color was there? I think it was purple, brown, and blue. I think those are the main three colors that I mixed in order to get the darkest tone I could possible. So yeah, I mixed those three. And also for the red areas, like you know, the red ochre's hair and the nose and everything. Um, I had to mix pink as a base because I thought pink was the closest to red and then I would apply what was I applying? Purple and a bit of blue on top of it because the lucky part for me about this image was it was mainly blue um, because he was in a like was it a maze type of situation in the movie if I can remember straight and so he had like a blue light so his face was kind of blue so I was lucky there so the nose and everything wasn't like bright red if it was bright red boy would have had prob Lems. So the tongue was definitely the part that I was looking forward to doing the most just because you don't really see Pennywise with his tongue out. That's mainly the part, the reason why I chose this image because it was very different compared to all the other ones where he's just looking freaky and ugly and just looking freaky and just looking ugly and grimy and just... Ugh, ugh. Even in this image he looked very... <laughs> part of the reason why I also left the eyes until the end is because I did not want Pennywise looking at me. I know that sounds crazy, some of you thinking, really bruh? You didn't want pen No. I didn't want to look down the page and have Pennywise just looking at me with his ugly ass eyes. One straight and the other one all going all wonky and man wasn't about that. Didn't want that to happen. But again with the tongue, same approach, you know, using pink as a base and then using the blue. I mainly used the light blue for like the skin tone and everything. And I'm going to be totally honest, the pen every now and then it was just not working the way I wanted it to flow. Um, so that's one thing I would say about the pen. It was pretty stiff. Again, these are these are cheap pens. They cost like 1.5 euros. That's nothing. That's very cheap. Um, so to produce this, it was rough just because of that. Y'all best, best give me this video a thumbs up. Like if you don't give this video a thumbs up, I will find you. And I'm going to bring Pennywise with me. But he's going to be very far away from me. But he will come for you. Now like my video.
Now the hair, oh my god, the hair. We have a problem. This is it. I deleted one of the files. Me, I'm always deleting files, huh? That is stupid. Always delete. Delete part. Luckily, I got some of it because I was recording from two different cameras. But I deleted the majority of doing the hair and I apologize guys. But let's just say, let's talk about the hair. I blended everything and everything. I just blended all the colors because I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to get this brownish, orangey looking type of hair. I didn't want to just use brown or orange. That was boring. Like, just, just, like I told you, the brown was very bright. And in the image, the brown area was fairly dark. So purple had to get involved. And after I just thought, you know, well, let me just bring in the blue. Because, you know, that bit of blue and there. And there. I'm bringing in the yellow. I just mixed up all the colors. It came up looking pretty sick. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I like the way the hair turned out. It looked pretty decent. But yeah, I was just mixing anything and everything. And this is not even where the problem's at. The problem is the next stage where I start doing the, the, the dressing looking clown, clown suit that he has on. Ooh! I left this one literally until the next day because I didn't know what to do. I was like, how am I gonna make this light gray, yellow looking type of color? But well, we did it. We did it. Let's go. Now, before I show you the complete image, let's talk about the, 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 the suit thing that he was having on. Now, my approach for this again was use all the colors I can in order to create the darkest tone for like the dark lines. And I was, I was analyzing it before, I was like, I can see a bit of green, a bit of yellow. How am I gonna create green? I was like, okay, yellow and blue, make it like a light green. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, we got that. And I was like, okay, I see some kind of lightish, grayish, brownish color. I was like, oh, brown, mm -hmm. but I don't have gray, mm, purple. So, mixing again, mixing all the colors. I guess that was the beauty of this whole. I kind of liked it that it looked very weirdish. I kind of think it added to like the creepiness. I don't know if it's just me, but it kind of just like emphasized the creepiness. It just took it to another level, just made it go mm. like he was already. <laughs> But now he went, hoo -ha, hoo -ha, hoo -ha. that's how I feel like what happened. What am I making all these noises for? But anyways, that's that's it for my jewelry. Here it is, the final image. Ba ba, penny white, chip chip. This ugly ass cockroach looking. Look at him. Ugh. So ugly. <laughs> anyways, like I said, I don't want this in my house. Sorry, Zo. She's sitting right behind me. I'm sorry, baby. I know you like Pennywise, but this gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go, Hang gotta it up go. on the wall. On the wall, so that when you wake up, it's like, ah. Like I said, this is going, so if you want to win this drawing, head over to my Instagram link. Will be It will be the first link in the description. Go tag three of your most scared friends in this post of me holding this for a chance to win this and to win a pack of Pelican pen. So, you get to win both of these. All you have to do is go to my Instagram, you know, tag three of your most scared friends, comment 
gang gang in this video. Yeah, you got to comment gang gang in this video and make sure to give it a like. Why not? You know, it's free. Don't cost you nothing. You know? It's cost me my stress. Having to join this Pennywise ugly looking clown looking get out of my house looking. You going. Someone go take you. Because I want you here. Anyways, that's it for my video today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smash the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. <coughs> and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Gang, gang!